Hi guys, Ezreal here, about to hit a workout, but before I do, let's just go ahead and approach a simple thing here. There seems to be an idiot out there on TikTok trying to spread misinformation. Well, I once again have to break this down as simple as possible, because some people are so incompetent that no matter how many times you say something, they have an incredible ability to not comprehend simple explanations. I will try again. Again, the Passport Bros movement is not about forcing women into submission or sleeping around or going somewhere where prostitution is legal. For a short time on TikTok, there were a few numbskulls that did go around trying to say that and try to use the hashtag Passport Bros, you know, on their videos. We, we chased them out. You feminazis didn't do it. None of you did it. If you're claiming some victory over us by that, we were the ones that said, no, you don't need to be going and sleeping around. No, we're not going to tell you what countries your prostitution is legal. No, we're not going to help you out on that. If you look at our content, if we're not showing nice, happy families as a product of passport books, marrying foreign women, then we are giving dating tips on how to respect that foreign culture and travel advice. That's not sleeping around. We have said time and again, we're not against women, we're against toxic feminism. Those toxic feminists that we call feminazis. We have made it clear it is not a race or color thing. The only race is the human race. Because we're marrying women of a different race. And some of us are marrying women of the same race, but born and raised in a different country. Why? It's very simple. We're tired of getting screwed in the court system. We're tired of some of you feminazis divorcing men, taking money for alimony, stealing the kids, feeding them lies about us, and getting child support. You gut us emotionally and financially, and then you're shocked that we don't want to be around you. Now, we have also said many times there are still good women in America, and there are. There are good women that are loyal wives and loving mothers, and we have no problem with that. We respect you, but you're married. <laughs> so, so for those of us that are still single, because we wasted our lives trying to make a marriage work that didn't work, like myself, where I just narrowly avoided alimony and thankfully didn't have any kids. Um, we just really can't be messing around with married women. We have not in any way tried to encourage anyone to divorce their American wives and go get foreign wives. We have not encouraged bigamy or polygamy. We have not encouraged huge age gaps. We have done none of that. We are about marriage-minded men that believe in being providers and protectors. We stand against SA section. We stand against greatness of all kinds, and we stand against men who are domestically abusive. We have made that clear multiple times. Despite this, some of you morons are struggling to comprehend these very basic concepts. But I think some of you aren't stupid. You're just stupid and lying. There's a difference. You see, I think some of you deep down know the Passport Bros movement has nothing to do with these negative things, but you want it to be. You want it to be a race thing, or a male domination thing, or taking advantage of foreign women thing, or sleeping around thing. You want it to be that. Because then you can try and dissuade other men from knowing, hey, if you got the money to travel, you got other options. Let's take a look at some of the BS you Nimrods have tried to spread. And remember something very important. The truth rarely, if ever, changes. When you're telling a true story, it don't change very often. Now, you might need to explain some more if you're going in further detail, but nine times out of ten, if you're telling the truth, 
I'd say probably 99 times out of 100, the story doesn't change. But let's take a look at how feminazis and some of their beta boys who probably live with their mothers who are also their landladies and also their financial dominatrix. Uh, let's see this in the stories. The first thing you did was try to claim we're broke. Claim we had no money and that that's why we're going to foreign countries. Brilliant. Have you seen how much tickets cost? You're going nowhere in Asia without paying thousands of dollars, which probably stinks. Guys like me would rather spend thousands of dollars to go visit my Filipina sweetheart and so forth than take you through a freaking drive through McDonald's back in the early 2000s when we had the dollar menu. Yeah, I probably aged myself. Life goes on. Um, so, not broke, because you need money to travel. Hmm. Common sense there. Two, once that didn't work, you turned around and said that we're just going around for prostitution, or it's legalized, or we're just going to sleep around. That is until you saw how many couples were married for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. Rockin' the passport bros hashtag. Boy, that didn't work out too well for you. <laughs> yeah, and again, we chased out the fakes, the passport punks as we call them. It wasn't you, it was us. Then the another story that came around was that we go after foreign women because they're uneducated, they're stupid, they're underdeveloped, they don't know no better. Ah, that is until all those foreign ladies clapped back and called you racist for it and made it quite clear that they're very intelligent. If you haven't seen the school systems over in Asia and Europe, I got news for you. We may have a slightly better economy, but they got a better education system. I can guarantee you that. And most Filipinas are trilingual. English, Tagalog, and a regional language. In my fiance's case, Bicol. But she also speaks Sawano and Visaya. Hmm. She speaks more languages than some of you all do going to college. She also has a college degree in professional baking and cooking that she used to work in the city and also has a college degree in hotel and restaurant management services. Yeah, yeah. Some of you all got your gender studies degree and can't get a job anywhere. Great job. Keep paying them freaking student loans though. She didn't. She just got a job and worked it off. And then you turned around and said, no, 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 we're trying to save you. We're trying to save you, poor, ignorant, foreign women from those predatory men. Well, that is until all those children born from those marriages clapped back and said, my parents love me and treat me good. I can't believe you talk about my father that way. So you've changed the story multiple times and failed. Because, unfortunately, people have this ability to fact check. It's amazing. It's really amazing. You sit there, looking all dignified, trying to say stuff confidently, like, hmm, 90% of passport bros go for prostitution, or just do it for that. But then people fact check and say you're full of crap. You post a journalist that is some angry, bitter, divorced 50-year-old woman with her cats claiming that, we post actual statistics from freaking government websites showing that those marriages work out. And then you get better. Now you're trying to say it's a black woman thing. We're against toxic feminism no matter what race you are. I don't care what race you are. If you support toxic feminism, no matter how you rebrand it or redefine it, I don't like you. And here's the biggest thing. The biggest thing we do is we share your videos. We are not your enemies. The reason that you're holding singles events in big cities throughout North America where men aren't showing up, the reason marriage has dropped and crazy groups like men going their own way have risen as number is you. We are not undermining you. We're just showing everyone there's another option. And if that's where all the bad men are, you shouldn't care. You're not gonna stop us. We're gonna love who we want. We're not gonna be race for it, and we're not gonna be confined for it. 
So y'all can just deal with that. And there's no black or white or anything about it. Just transparency. Sit there, be miserable, and realize no matter what you do, we're still doing our thing, and we don't care about you. I just block you. Y'all have to take care now. Bye. Get your passport and travel overseas. Not okay. All I want and I